Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tara here. It's very nice to see you. This week, we've got another med school video for you today. So if you don't know, I'm currently on clinical placement. I'm currently on vascular surgery. So as the vascular surgeon likes to tell us, it's five things. Fistulas, aneurysms, carotids, veins, and legs, five things. I'm sure it's much more complicated than that, but it just kind of helps to break it down that way in your brain sometimes. That's not what this video is about. This video is all about what I carry in my white coat every day on clinical placement. This is my handy dandy white coat. It has the RCSI crest on it here. Beautiful. I think something happens between first year and second year. In first year, you're so gentle to your white coat, like it's always hung up at the end of the day. You always keep it nicely ironed, and now that we're in second year, it kind of just gets crumpled into a ball at the bottom of my knapsack. I do wash it all the time, but that's just for, to protect me and other patients. White coats aren't necessarily the most sanitary thing in the hospital. As medical students, we're, we wear white coats. Sort of helps to identify us as medical students when you see these people running around the hospital in white coats with the school logo on them. It's like, oh yeah, you guys are the med students. So this video is all about what I keep in my white coat. It has kind of three main pockets in it. There's kind of these two big pockets down at the bottom, and then there's one pocket so the logo is on this side and the other pockets on this side. First things first, I keep with me in my left main pocket, I always keep my Oxford Journal of Medicine and I keep a notebook and a pen. The notebook is for taking notes, the pen is for writing the notes down, but sometimes in between clinics or in between surgeries it's a good idea to keep the Oxford Handbook because it does help to go over some of the basic medical concepts. Those get tucked nicely into the left-hand pocket of my white coat. Then in the right-hand pocket, I keep my cell phone because my cell phone has this handy-dandy app on it called Up to Date. And in Up to Date, I can type in various drugs, diagnoses, symptoms, and if a doctor in the hospital says, what's this drug and I don't know, I can always go and look it up later. Or if I see a patient, or if I see a drug or a diagnosis that I'm not familiar with and it's not in the Oxford Handbook, I can look it up on Up To Date. It'll go into different things varying from how to diagnose someone with something to how to manage someone who has a particular disease. So let's say someone has an abdominal aortic aneurysm and it's this big, you can say, well, I'll treat this one surgically or I'll treat this one medically. And you kind of, it shows you all of the different thought processes behind that with very clinically relevant data. So I love Up To Date. I'm a huge fan of it. I'm really glad that RCSI provides, provides us with a subscription for it. And then the other thing I keep in that pocket is my stethoscope. So as medical students at the particular hospital that I'm at, we're not supposed to wear our stethoscopes around our necks. It's really handy to have. You get to listen to different patient uh, heartbeats. You can hear clinical findings. Sometimes doctors will find a patient who has something and you don't necessarily want to be boring, borrowing someone, else, someone else's stethoscope. It's nice to have your own. Um, the next thing that I have with me is I have my school ID card with my name on it and my face. The other thing that I carry with me on the ward is my watch and my rings. So my watch is usually on my wrist, but as part of uh, hand hygiene and preventing the spread of germs, um, the standard practice in the hospitals that I'm at is to be bare from the elbows down. So I carry my watch and my rings on my ID lanyard. I feed my rings onto my watch like that um, so that one, I don't lose them, and two, I, there's, a cup, there's a couple of them that are sentimental to me, I like having them close by. Oh, but anyway, this video has been short and sweet, all about what I keep in my white coat on clinical placement. Uh, I do plan on taking you around to my next clinical placement in June, um, just so you guys can see a little bit more of what it's like. Uh, until then, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notifications when I post new videos. I'm looking forward to our song on Sunday, and I will see you then. Bye-bye! First things first, I'm a realist, no. Um, 